Welcome back to Gray Squadron Gaming, where we have another exciting episode in our Star Wars Legion Battle Report series, episode 114. It could be exciting. It could not be. We don't know yet. Yeah, we're filming it live. Behind the scenes. <laughs> live for us. <laughs> Edited slightly we for you. We are live and filming, guys. We're filming in front of a live studio audience called the, the Pop Patrol. Yeah, one of these days I'll show you the basement. People keep asking. Um, anyways, this is my list today. It's our Patreon list from... OG Bawa is who you're playing. Discord name OG Bawa. Um, Ahsoka Tano was the centerpiece of this list, but uh, I should probably start in order. Commander is Rebel Officer, or I like to call him Gideon because of the Grill Salt. You guys know this by now. Portable Scanner. Then I got Ahsoka Tano with Situational Awareness, Defensive Stance, Force Reflexes, Force Push. Classic Ahsoka. S Sabine Wren with Situational Awareness, her Combat Shield, and her Darksaber. We got her family, the, the Resistance Clan Wren style, with everything. Jetpack Rocket, Ursa, Tristan, Prepared Supply, Situational Awareness. They're loaded. Two Rebel Commander Strike Teams, both with the Sniper Rifle. Two Rebel Troopers with uh, the Medroid each. So I have two Medroids here. A Naked Rebel Vet and a Naked uh, Mark II. Bring me up to $7.99. Probably making me Red Player. Uh, but I want to do a big shout out to the Commander Patreons. Obviously, we're playing one here now. Actually, going to be playing two Commander Patreon on the list. If you want to, us to play your list, Commander Patreon is the tier you have to go to. Their lists get put into a pool. We randomly pick from that pool, and that's what the list we play every so often. Usually once or twice a month when we're not doing um, tournament-style videos. we got to catch up after the, the Battle Force beatdown. Battle Force beatdown. Yeah, that was wildly successful. So thank you guys all for watching that. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all your comments. Thank you to the patrons and specifically the commanders. Huge thanks to our commanders, Jamal Alwahadi, Alex Bingham, Anthony Minerva, Paul Jorgensen, Jess David, Arkan Dan, Michael Hume, Jason Tatro, Evan Christensen, Jacob Blecka, Ryan and Peyton Archer, Thunderbound, Thomas Trotman, Same Page, Gregory Williams, Eli Arthur and Walden Kaywood, Anthony Binomo, Chris Kempf, Flobit, Anthony Hosking, Ethan McKinney, Grant Sonier, Sozo, and Grim War Gamer. Thank you all so very much for the support. You help us get these videos out all the time. So, with that, let's go look at our other Commander Patreons list, which is running Separatist Knight on the helm of Donald Haynes. And this list is brought to you by Ethan McKinney. Uh, this is a Separatist list with General Grievous, who has aggressive tactics and his Annihilator pistol. I guess just because the both of those upgrades have his picture on it. Um, and <laughs> a, uh, a T-Series with nothing on him. Uh, one unit of the BX Commandos with a Sniper and the HQ Uplink, and then one unit of the Snipe Commando Strike Team with a Sniper and a HQ Uplink. Um, one unit of the B1s with an extra B1 and an HQ Uplink. One unit of B1s with an extra B1 and Electro Binoculars. Two units of B1s with an extra B1 and the E60R Rocket. And then two B2s with the B2 Ha and a T-Series in them. You'll notice that the red B2s have a Medroid. I don't have three T-Series, so we're just having a Medroid be a T-Series in that unit because he's red. Uh, that put me at 796, so I am going to be blue player. We're going to look at the cards that I chose because Ethan didn't put them in there, and we'll uh, see what happens. Here's the cards that Don selected for his force. He gets the first pass on this week's Flipper Pass. Flip or pass. P -p pass. Much better than the doo -wop version from last week. No, nope, don't even start. Whoop. We don't need doo -wop <laughs> to flip a pass. Uh, I'm going to start with a good old-fashioned American pass. Hmm. I think I would payload. Uh, I'm going to get rid of limited visibility. All the snipers are on now. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of key. So we're going to play sabotage, advanced positions, hostile environments, Got that board set up, but before we do, ugh, hey, let's show <laughs> all these giveaways. We still have the Dark Trooper giveaway going on right now. Don't remember to comment to get entered in to win this unopened brand new box of lovely Dark Troopers. I uh, won this over at Fair Game Store Championship, so thank you guys for that. Pass it along to you folks. We also have this awesome Rebel Trooper, this awesome Cassian Andor card, and can't forget about Mr. Gar Saxon himself, all arts given away too. Probably going to have some more... Um, Curl Pot tokens I'll probably throw in there as well because we still have lots of those to give away too. So comment below. Big shout out to all the other sponsors that I'm not mentioning. Like Gifted Games, Local Game Store, the links below. All our sponsors have links below with discounts. Use them if you'd like. It saves you guys money. Welcome to round one. We're here with Orbital Strike. It's Commander. Once in this round, at the end of the activation of a friendly commanding droid trooper or a friendly field commander, you may perform this attack with this weapon here. 
I went with the Soka Tunnels card family reunion. It's a Soka and Sabine's team up card. They gain, well, team up, and at the start of Soka's activation, Sabine may perform a speed two move. And at the start of Sabine's activation, Soka Tano may perform a speed two move. It's called Movie Movie, Get It, Get It, Groove It. That's what I call it. Um, I'm gonna give my orders to Sabine, Clan Rand, and Ahsoka. I just have yet. And then she'll get a dodge from Defend. They'll get a dodge from Retinue, and Sabine will have her shield. Uh, I have a Sniper Strike team there. I have Vets that scouted up there, and then also detached him. And they scouted up with their Scout 3, thanks to the lovely advanced positions. Those are my two points, as you guys can see, right there and there. His two points are right there and there. And he's got his whole little chain of networking, all the... Uh, Lovely HQ up links he can matter is right there as well. The mat itself is from Gray Matter Gaming. Check them out. They have a discount code below. We use a lot of their mats in pretty much all our videos lately. Most of the terrain, the anything that's a building, these stumps, scatter, this, the landing platform itself. Excuse me. It's all from Legion Train. The only things that aren't from Legion Train are my A wings and the flock trees, I think. Oh, and this one sniper tower. Everything else is from Legion Train, including that guy there. It's a really cool tree. I like that one a lot. Check them out as well. Uh, J Squared, of course, makes the token holders, template holders, dashboards. These are the curled pot tokens. All discount codes below. Let's get started. I don't want to. You don't want to? Nope. You love Mandos. I do. Okay. We roll the dice. Don got a block, which means he goes first since we both play two pips. Don, what are you going with? So I'm going to go with these B1s because they H U Q uplink to give everybody a good chain. They're going to move up to the evaporator and just recover to get that H Q uplink back. And that will be them. Oh, perfect. It's a good first turn separatist HQ uplink recover kind of move. Go to my stack for the first one. We got we got a commander, Commander Gideon over here. I gotta stop calling them. That confuse people. Okay, so we've got enough Gideons in the game. I know. I'm sorry. Add I'm sorry. an additional one. Portable scanners and they give it to Sabine, give her a dodge. Give it to Ahsoka to give Ahsoka another dodge. Because he's got that lovely upgrade. And then we're gonna take a move. We're just gonna do a partial move just to be touching this wall right here. Touching wall is always a great thing, especially with hostile environment. All right, I'm going to go ahead and go with the green unit. These are the this is the unit that has the electric binoculars, so they will go ahead and give an aim token to our commando friends. They're going to move up here, and uh, we'll just reco here in a way. And you guys are in colors. His the base are colored, and he has like little arm colors. But on the camera, sometimes it's hard to see unless they go really close. See his little armband. There you go. Go to my stack. We've got special forces. Let's go with the snipers way back here. They're gonna take an aim and shoot these purple B2s who are out in front. Looking looking just extra nice. They do look pretty nice. Joe painted them. That's why he thinks they look nice. <laughs> Black and white dice. Sharpshooter one brings their light to no cover. They do have armor one though. I do surge to hits and I have pierce and high velocity. You do have all the Let's words. See what happens. That's a pretty good shot for you, buddy. It's one pierce one at the moment. I don't think I get greedy with rebel dice, yeah, so I'm gonna yeah. leave that one pierce one. In. All right, so armor elite one, and one wound goes on a B2. All right, we're gonna go over here to this blue E60 unit. They, uh, they're not really in range to do anything exciting yet, so they're just gonna move over here. They're gonna tap this VAP, break it a little bit more, and that will be them. Okay. Got the stack, it's core. We'll go over here. We're gonna move this guy. You way past that, right? We'll move it to the other end of this map. A little parkour around there. Yeah, why not? Because it'll look a little farther for the next thing. And then we will do Pull the opposite. Pull out your toolkit. Yep, we got our frozen tundra Put a wrench. mechanical band-aid on there. And we fixed it. Good to go. All right, I'm just going to go with the purple B1 unit here. They are going to move up. They are going to break the VAP for its fourth damage there. And that will be them. Hooray! Go to my stack. We've got special force. Let's go with the snipers who are kind of hiding under here. Um, Undercover snipers. I think we're just going to... Uh, There's an evaporator right there. I know. I don't think we're going to tap it, though. Yeah, I think we're going to move up to here. Okay. We go here. And then we're going to shoot the B2s. We're going to shoot some B2s. It's so a black white again. Same shot as before, but mine is the aim. He's got no cover against the sharpshooter, but he still has that lovely armor. Do you have armor? Just a suppression. Fresh armor. All right, we're going to go with these B2s here. They are just going to move. They're going to bump elbows with everybody through here. They're going to end up right there. They're going to take a dodge for their second action. Move it up and dodging. Got the core. Joe's over here sweating, getting his special forces. I don't want to pull my last special forces yet, guys. Um, so I thought about bringing him back to then, like, tap that to be have that be done this round. I think that's still what we do, actually. I don't, want, I don't necessarily want to double move out and be 
in range of everything. Yeah, so, there's, a, there's a lot coming over so there. let's just reverse, if you will. Back it up. And we'll uh, have him use his Frozen Tundra Wrench 2.0 to heal that. All right, so we got a we got a heal vap there. We got a fully broken vap there. We're going to me. All right, going to the stack here. It's our commander. We're going to go with the T-Series. He's going to take an aim. He's going to bolster and give another uh, search token out there. One to himself. And at the end of his activation, he's going to use his Orbital Strike. And he, we're going to try to do some damage to that sniper team there. Which one? The one back here, right? This one. Yep, okay. All right, so we've got two blacks, two whites. We have an aim, we have a surge, we have a sharpshooter one bringing their heavy cover plus down to just standard heavy cover. Thank you, low profile. And uh, let's see what we can do here. And we'll spend the aim on the two whites here. I will take it. We'll spend the surge, and cover's going to eat two, so we got two going through. Oh, you would you would have a double conversion of whites. That's, that's I, not I'm friendly. I'm pretty happy about that. Oh, oh. Whew. we're okay. We're okay. From a stack, we've got special forces. That's going to be Clan Ren. That's in that mix there. Thought about this. What I wanted to do with this for a while here. I can easily move past that corner. We're going to move up to the corner here. Sure. Like so. Bring it all three out just enough. And then we're going to take a shot onto those B2s. And we're going to shoot the... The rockets. Okay. I'm not a big fan of the rockets on the Clan Run Mandos because they're range three to four, so they don't pair well with their guns. And it's only three dice. But in this case, I'm going for the impact against his B2, so they don't have the armor benefit. So anything I roll, it's impact three now. It'll give me an I took away his light cover with blast. That's helpful too. That's also very helpful. So yeah, so all three of these impact three will change the three crits before his armor okay. kicks in, which means his armor stops nothing against these mana rockets. But does his dice stop anything? That's the question. Let's see. Two? I'm going to stop two, so well, I kill we'll the lose a B2. All right, so we're going to go with those B2s. I need one of your white dice there, please. They have three suppression on them. They're going to hold on to all three, but they're droids, so it's not going to affect them in any way. Not yet. Uh, we're going to move up to this tree here, and then we are going to take a shot into uh, Clay and Ren, who just pulled up, and uh, see what we can do to them. Okay. All right, so our Ha is going to be two reds and a white. Our T-Series is going to be one red. And then we've got two reds, I'm sorry, two blacks and two whites for our remaining regular B2s. Uh, no cover because of blast. I have one surge token. This is a stupid good roll. Uh, we'll spend the surge token and we'll make it uh, six, seven. Okay, seven. Okay. Well, we'll spend uh, one dodge off them and we'll spend the dodge off their prepared supply card as well to bring it down to five. At least a more manageable number. Didn't expect you to get that many hits through with, uh, without a name. I usually don't. I oh, know. Okay, we do surge to block, but every 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 blank's a hit. Oof. Oh, oh man. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, after that horrendous roll on my side of the board, I'm uh, not sure what that was supposed to do. We're going to get some heals in here because we have heal bots. So let's use them. So we'll move him up to about here. Sure. And we'll take a dodge for my second action, and my free action will be to heal one, which actually brings back the lovely Tristan with one wound on him for now. That's, that's very true. We're going to go ahead and go to my stack here. It's going to be a Special Forces. We're going to go with our full unit of B uh, X traits here. And we're going to climb. Um, so we're just going to pre-measure this here. They're going to end up right there with their climb here. And we are just going to go ahead and take a shot into the uh, AI move for the climb. Um, we'll take a shot into Clan Ren and uh, hope we can... Put a couple more damage on him. All right, so the sniper rifle is giving us two res. We have eight whites. We search to hit sharpshooters, bringing their heavy cover down to light. We have an aim token. We have a dodge token. So we are looking at... A very good start still. A very good start. Cover is going to take away one. A dodge is in three, pierce one. Or a reroll and hope to get another one. Let's spend the aim to make it lethal. We'll lose one to cover. I assume you're going to dodge. Yeah, we'll dodge. We're three. nimble. It keeps coming back. So it's three pierce one. So you have impervious. Can, can, do these dice have paint on them? I hope not. You, I will lose one wound, which Tristan goes down again, but we'll bring him back in a second. It's a rebel trooper unit with a heal. How about that? Let's move them up as well. Let's move them to about, yeah, we'll move to about here. Sure. Rico, hear them. They'll, they'll take a dodge as well. And then we're going to, um, again, revive Tristan <laughs> with one wound. He just keeps falling down, and we just keep just shocking him back. Keeps coming back. That's All right, last in the stack over here is going to be our other sniper strike team. 
they are going to AI move. So we'll just move up to this tree here. And then uh, we will take uh, the sniper shot into Sabine. Okay. All right, so this is gonna be two reds, search to hit, no cover for Sabine. And she got a dodge and a shield. It's two. All righty. There we go, Sabine, who's got one suppression from that shot. Just gonna keep it for now. Sure. We're going to just kind of saunter up here a little bit. Not a full move by any means. Just to get just to the saunter. Just to this corner right here. Sure. Touching this little doorway. Little corner saunter. I like yeah. it. And then she's going to um we're gonna, we're gonna gunsling because you know why wouldn't why wouldn't gunsling? you, right? I just want to see my option. I don't think I have these sniper boys. I think we're just ooh. Just, ooh. That's pretty close. Ooh, I think we might. Otherwise we've got droids to galore. So for sure, the B2s, maybe B1s, maybe BX. I'm going to take a look. Okay. We throw a rainbow, we surge to crit, and we have um, Pierce 1. We're going to shoot the B2s first. They have no cover, but Armor 1 with the dodge. True. So Armor 1 will eat one. You can dodge the other one. Sure am. Okay. And then the second shot, we will we'll try the BX choice for fun. Okay, okay. We're here for a good time, not a long time. Ooh, one crit. Pierce 1. And Pervious, I roll 2. And we still got one. one. Last activation for me is going to be the general himself. He is going to hop right in front of his boyos here. He uh, He's going to, well, he's going to aim. Then he's going to hop in front of his boyos. He's going to use Relentless and shoot his Annihilator into the uh, Clan Ren there. I thought, I thought about shooting Sabine. It's this, you know, I'm just looking for two crits either way, so it's better to try to get another wound over there. I forgot to mention it. I mentioned it off camera. I didn't do it on camera. Um, when it, Sabine activated, Soka gets to move up two because of the card. So that's where she ended up, just so you guys know. All right, so the Annihilator is two blacks, two whites. It is critical one. It is pierce one. And I have an aim token. Uh, so there's two crits to start with. Uh, we'll spend that aim token. Yep, that's pretty much dawn rolls usually. We didn't get anything after that. Uh, situational awareness dodge, dodge gets rid of one, but it's one pierce one. Can they roll one roll of full paint? Let's find out. While we roll it. Yes, they can. Uh, They're okay. Okay, Soka's gonna go. And at the start of her activation, Sabine can do a speed two move if she'd like to. I don't see why she wouldn't do a speed two movement. So she's gonna she's gonna move on up. Like so. Sure. Bring her stuff with her for next round. She's she's feeling pretty comfortable about things. But now the reason this guy's here, you see this guy, he's dead. That's just my placeholder for where Soka lands. <laughs> So Soka's going to jump over the corner here, and then we're going to have more than enough speed to get into melee with these B2s. So we're going to come... Actually, I'm going to bend this as best I can to get as close to the leader as I can. So we'll go to sure. there, and then we'll let him Rico here, and we'll, we'll have a little slashy slash. Okay, I went into tap force reflexes before my movement as well to give me three. One for defend, one from the portable scanner earlier, and now one from force reflexes. I roll a double rainbow, two reds, two blacks, two whites. Surging to crit, I do have the ability of the Jakar Mastery that lets me spend a dodge to pretty much marksmanship my tactics. Do you have impact on her? Let's imagine it's impact two. I'm sure it is. Let me just double check real quick. It, it is impact two. You have armor one, I forgot. Yep. Okay, okay. So we'll impact two of them right off the bat. I got three dodges, huh? To play with here. So one dodge into a hit. One dodge into a crit. And if I make anything else a hit, it will fall off. So I'll leave that alone and keep one dodge for now, which will make these two both become crits with my impact. So it's going to be four pierce two. Four pierce two sounds good. Uh, I'm not going to spend the surge because there's no reason. So that's just four damage. So two more, two B2s down from me. I could have got more hits of the dodges. My bad. So before you type it, I, I realize, but that's okay. We still killed oh, They already typed it. No, now they didn't. It's already there. It's too, too fast. No. This is like instantaneous transmission. It's already there. Um, so yeah, so Soka moved up, did some damage. Uh, Clan Ren just couldn't roll defense dice and we got wall. The only reason he's still alive is because of the Medroids. <laughs> With that, uh, we've got a fully damage vapped, a fully healed vapped, untouched, and I believe untouched as well, right? Yep. And yep. let's go to round number two. Welcome to round two. I think you guys saw it coming. Double one pip. We have training your Jedi Arts, General Grievous. General Grievous gains disengage and one dodge token. At the end of his activation, he may perform an attack against an enemy, each enemy unit at range one using the following weapon. That weapon. I got I am no Jedi. Soka gains Agile One while attacking during the form attack step. She gains an additional white dice for each dodge in her um 
that she has to a maximum of three extra attack dice. I rolled a block, so I could start us off, which makes me wish I would have Sabine's one pip now, but that's okay still. So Ahsoka will get her order, which gives her a dodge thanks to defend one. And uh, yeah, he gave his orders out. He's still passing them out, so we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, we're going to go with Ahsoka. Shooty has one dodge from defend. She will take a dodge with defensive stance. She'll get two more dodges, so that brings her up to her total of three, which is the best she can do for her saber trick. We will then swing away against these remaining B2s and see what happens. At the end of the last round, she's starting for this round. She has double rainbow for her base attack. She gets one additional white for each dodge, and she has three, which is the maximum more she can add with this card. I surge to crit, have pierce two and impact two. Let's see what we can do. It's pretty, pretty darn solid start. I'm not mad at it. Not mad at it, guys. Okay, so we've got... We've got that so far. How much health do you have left over there? Five? Five. Five health, huh? So right now, we'll just pretend like you're canceling this one. And we'll spend two dodges to bring two more up to hits. That's giving us a six-pack after the armor removes one. Yeah. So armor will remove one. I'll still have six left. We'll hang on to the one dodge for defensive purposes. Six pierce two, you say? Six pierce two. No problem. Oh, and obviously this impacted guys, but it didn't matter. His armor already canceled. That's a good amount of surges. If you surge, that'd be great. Defense, that'd be great, but... Um, I can, yeah, nope, they're just dead. B2s are dead. I went and force pushed these B1s into Ahsoka as a somewhat shield for now. Obviously, they have an activate, so they can withdraw, but either way, at least they're either going to melee me and nothing else will, or they withdraw and don't do anything. When it goes to Don, Don, you know what you want to do, or do you need a second to think? Give me a second here. Take all the time you need, sir. I can edit this part out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go with Revis here. We are going to... This was a think for him, guys. This was, like, this this was, was one of the longest things the long time I've seen Don. So I'm going to move into Sabine. I'm going to hit her. And then I have disengaged this round, so I'm going to pop back off of her over to here. So move it with Relentless Swing. Move it with Relentless Swing. And then the second move is to move out. Move out, and then I'm going to use my extra hit at the end of the thing, but it's just going to hit her because Sabine, or Ahsoka's in melee already. Okay. Let's see what happens. So it's going to be two reds, four blacks, two whites. I'm using both of his sabers. I have one surge token on him. She has nothing but her awesome armor. Oof. Uh, oh, it's a lot of surges. Yeah, before. it's great. It's great. So that's a blank. That's a blank. That's a blank. That's a blank. We'll spend a surge to make it four. Okay, the good news is she's not dying. What's your pierce four level? Pierce two. Well, she, there's a six. They're impervious. Hopefully, she rolls better armor than her than her family. No, you'll do two. Oh, you'll right, do two. two. You'll I'll do take two. It. And after that, we are going to do the end of the card movement card thing. This is just the single saber. So one red, one white, two blacks. It is going to be uh, suppressive. She will have light cover. But that's good, so two more. Two more, huh? One more. Another wound, I'll take that. Yeah, the one out of nine, guys. One out of nine chance that that was the top joke. We got it, but Sabina's is suppressed and she's hurt and I don't like it. Oof. Yep, uh, if you guys watched left the chat, you know, Joe's suppression rolls usually don't go well. So we've got one action only. You do. One action and what, two health? And two health, yep. It, it, the weird enough thing, I think her best strategy is to get engaged with Grievous. <laughs> hey oh, <laughs> But I think that keeps her alive from everybody. It does keep her alive. I just got to figure out where I want it, because technically you can move in and smack her there. You, so yeah, I think if I come to here, I'm safe. Okay, so, yeah, okay. We're just going to move into here, okay. touch Grievous, and not have to worry about any more attacks this round for her. Alrighty. Talked about it off camera. Forgot to talk about it on camera. Taking the suppression to Dauntless... Then I'm going to swing into her, or to him. So at least she's doing something in, on top of living. So let's go to the dice box and do this correctly. This is five black dice, surging to crit, pierce one, impact one, won't matter. You are impervious. I sure am. Let's see what we can get. That's going to be four, pierce one. Pierce one's not too bad. For a dark saber, I'll take that all day, every day. So we're going to take one? We're going to take two. two. Now we're going to go over here to these B2s. They have two suppression on them. They're going to hold on to them, but that's okay because their first thing is going to be to recover. They're going to get that H, uh, HA cannon back. We're going to shoot back into Clan Ren and see what we can do. Oh, no. Poor Clan Ren. They've, they've just been the brunt of every attack so far. That's why our HA cannon is going to be two reds and a white. We got one red from our T-Series and then two blacks and two whites from our regular B2s. We have one surge token. They have no cover. They have one dodge. All the things. Jeez, that's another good roll. It's still another very good roll. So I will spend their surge to convert that there. One for your dodge, I would imagine. So yep. four. 
Based on how my Mandalorian's been rolling, I think this might be a dead uh, Clan Ren earlier. I have here. a feeling you're going to be just fine. Oh, nope, you are dead. not just fine. I told you, I can feel it. Go to my staff, we've got a special force. Let's go to these snipers down here. Take an aim, and we'll shoot into the purple B1s. My purple B1s. Black, white, um, no cover. Light cover, none of nothing. Take that. It's two Pierce 1 on those B2s, or B1s, excuse me. Oh my goodness. Well, we pierce one at least. With my blue guys here, they are going to go ahead and disengage with Ahsoka. So we'll just hop back over here. And that will be them. Okay. For my second core, let's go with the vets over here. Sure. They've uh, broken this one, or fixed this one. Fixed excuse it. me. So yep. let's go march and get them on a mission to maybe. The vets go marching one by one. Oh, bro. Can they make it there? Oh, yeah. With, with with room to spare, my friend. Alrighty, they are the team of fix the stuff. So Vets. they'll go there for now and just chill to see if they want to. They didn't bring a heavy because they brought a toolkit. Yeah, no heavy, just just the toolkit for them. Yep. All right, we're gonna go with our electric binoculars crew. They're gonna toss an aim up to our BX droids, and then they're gonna move up just a hair, just to about here. That will be them. Okay. Okay, we got the uh, Mark II who also broke this. He's just gonna give the Sniper a little tap on his butt and say, good game, bro. Good game. Glad you're still alive. Glad we're going to rotate with our free pivot that way. Just to start kind of, you know, coming up in this way. He wants to participate. He does. So he'll come almost a full move. Maybe stop right about there, touching this uh, little piece of terrain here. Oh, sure, sure. Push him off. And then he'll rotate slightly that way. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go with the purple team. They are going to just move over here a little bit. And they will uh, shoot into this open. Okay. All right, so we're too close for the rocket launcher to be a part of this, so it's just going to be seven white dice. Uh, she doesn't have any pressure or anything, just a dodge. Jesus. I will uh, I will take that all day. Wow. Okay, I guess we are going to spend a dodge. I wasn't going to plan on on the stack. We're going to afford to flex active now. It's, Flexed away, buddy. Got some surging abilities here. Ooh. Okay. Okay, we're going to go with our Commander Gideon back here. Is he going to giddy up there to give out some dodges to his more important folks? He can't get to anyone this turn, unfortunately. I was trying to see if there's any way possible he can get there. The, the answer to that is a very big no, I think. Hmm. He can get to Sabine. He can get to but Sabine. But she's in melee and she's not in danger of being hit at she all. She is not really in danger. That is true. So, it's a tough call. I think what we're going to do with him is we're just going to um, bring him around this way for one. And then two to the edge here. Just slightly less. Just moving them. up for next round. All right, we're going to go ahead and go with the BX droids up here. They are going to go ahead and climb down. They're going to end up right about there. They are going to shoot Ahsoka. We'll go to the box. Okay. All right, so it's going to be eight whites, two reds, sharpshooter ones, taking away that suppression cover with an aim. Lethal. Search the head. Matter. Um, we will spend the aim. And you're looking at four. Okay, I have no, no abilities left. Just looking for blocks now. Not kidding them. Okay, well, this game's going to be a real quick one, guys. Okay, we got a Team core. Rebel Troopers, run to heal. Run to heal. Because apparently um, none of my people rolling red dice know how to roll red dice anymore, and his dice are just beyond on fire at this they point. They are pretty, pretty fuego. So we're just going to sacrifice some Rebel Troopers at this point just sure. to get the heal off. And we'll, we'll heal Soka for one because obviously she's the one in need at the moment. That is a logical maneuver. So they'll double move and heal one. All right, we're going to go over here to our BX droid. He's going to go ahead and take an aim, and he will shoot into Ahsoka. Okay. All right, so this is going to be two reds into heavy cover down to light. And it's just going to be one. Okay, another one. Go to my stack here. we got the sniper guy over here. He'll aim and shoot the BX droids. Shooting the purple BX droids. Black, white, pierce one, all the fun stuff, surging to hit. Spin the aim. One Pierce one. All right, impervious. Does not help me this time, so that's a purple down. All right, we're gonna go with Tommy the T-Series from our stack here. He's gonna move up to this here tree. He's gonna shoot into Ahsoka and with a hope and a prayer. Sharpshooter takes away her light cover. We get a black and a white. No surgery or anything here. Just uh, just a smile. I just wanna say the only reason I'm alive is because he blinked that roll. Otherwise, I probably was just dead. Okay, and the last ditch effort to try to keep somewhat this game going. We'll move them up to here. We'll go here to be the heal droid up to here. He'll heal damage off Ahsoka, and that's that. Alrighty. All out of heals. 
All right, last in my activations here is going to be these B ones. They're going to recover, and then they're going to break a VAP back here. Okay. Okay, it's going to be an end because my other one's going to be Clint around, who <laughs> decided to die early in this one. So we've got this boy over here. He's got one suppression. I'll hold off in a second. It won't matter super. It's not going to change anything. Because he's got courage too. He sure does. So it looks like we can shoot some B1s. You're just out of range B2s. on the purple BXs there. I think what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll move up and try to shoot the BX droids. Okay, moving on up. Shooting some BX droids. Just a black white. With impervious. Piercing. Surging. Um, one pierce one. One pierce one. Oh, you have no expressions account for you. Never mind. Nope. Well, there you go. Now there it's back to you. I went around. Uh, Don's dice, uh, besides the T-Series, are just on fire. I think you rolled six out of seven natural white dice hits. Uh, it was five out of six. Or five out of six or whatever or five it was. Five out of seven. It was, it was abnormally high. It was a good high. amount of white dice hits. I've, I've rolled defensive dice like... Like Don. Like Pooh, we'll just say. Like Don. Sabine's down to two. Ahsoka's down to two after a couple heals. Clan Ren's gone. It's not looking good for me unless I have a really crazy good round here. But we'll keep going. Around three, you up with ambush. Kind of knew that was coming, and the way rolls are going, I wasn't going to leave it to risk for Sabine's one pip. So I went with Ahsoka's three pips so I can try to survive. It's soaking two units. At the start of Ahsoka's activation, she recovers. When Ahsoka down, issues an order to a small base trooper unit. That unit gains either an aim or a dodge token. Ahsoka gains inspire two. Ahsoka has defend one, so I gave her one for defend one and one because I chose to because she's a small base trooper, so she has two. Sabine took one, and Gideon, or I mean the rebel commander, took one as well. He gave his orders to everything because that's what you do when you have all the HQ uplinks in the world. It's very true. One pip goes first. Who you start with, bro? I'm trying to figure out. What, give me a second to see who, who Ooh, I think the best think. would be. All right, we're going to start with the purple BX droids. They do have two suppression because they weren't touching anything, so they couldn't remove any of it. They'll hold on to both, but they're droids, so they don't care. Uh, we're going to spend, or their first action is going to be an aim. Second action, we are going to shoot into Ahsoka and see if we can't do it. Yeah, two dodges. That's about all we have. All right, so this one's going to be six whites, two reds. For the name token, Sharpshooter is bringing her cover, white cover down to nothing. Search to hit. All right. Still hit on half uh, his white dice without the aim. <laughs> that's pretty solid. Spend oh, Don. Here. And he converts on both, too, yeah. Okay. And sometimes, guys, you can have the best plans and attention in the game, but dice don't mean anything. So we're going to dodge both with two dodges. I have deflect. That really helped last time, so let's see if we can help again. This is five. I need paint on four of these five. So this is probably the end of Ahsoka here. Yep. She does kill one with her. She does take one down, yeah. Okay, I guess since Don can't miss with his defense dice or offensive dice at this point, we'll go with Sabine before she dies next. Sure, sure. That's how my dice are rolling this game. Hold on to those suppressors. She'll get one action. That. Um, she'll just swing against uh, Grievous, and that, that's literally all she can do. Let's do it. Five black. Surge to crit, Pierce one. It's four again. Four Pierce one. Pervious will kick in here for Grievous. And he will block none of it. So he will take four. So he is up to six. Right, let's eight. go to the stack here. It's Commander. We'll go with Grievous. Uh, we'll take a dodge and then we will swing into Sabine. See what we can do. All right, two sabers, two reds, two whites, four blacks. Impet or Pierce two. Oh, Jesus, man. Yeah, yeah. That's okay, we're going to dodge one. one. You're looking at a five pack again. Well, this, this feels familiar. She also Pierce, only has two Pierce health two. left. Well, I apologize, guys, if this video is really short. I can't do anything about this. Okay, she's dead. Down. I'm done. All right, with that, we uh, we don't think the Rebel Troopers can and handle the rest of it. It's not even it. assault done. It's just done because... That's dice. Yeah, that was a lot of dice. I don't know what, you, what I could even do to try to make this a fun game for you guys to watch. I have two naked Rebel Troopers with no ability. I have a Rebel Officer who can give dodges to those naked Troopers. Naked Vets who can't do anything. A Mark II who's going to shoot four black dice and... Two, two, one and a half snipers left. It's true. Against literally everything of his except for one B2 unit. So yeah. that is why I'm it's, calling it. It's an uphill battle that would not go well, I think. No, so. you're going you're gonna to wipe out all the Rebel Troopers here this turn, too. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, funny enough, wouldn't change a thing, wouldn't change charging. Yeah, I, um, I thought that was, you, I was, I was very much shaking in my boots because I'm like, with Ahsoka and Sabine, in my back line, Sabine throwing some bombs here in a turn. Soka just cutting everything up. I thought I was about to die, but I've not the Reds seen turned off real bad. Dice you. roll that high ever. It's been a it's been a minute since it, I I never roll like that against you. I have games like that against like You've normal been humans. Whites 
in two times, both white dice re-rolls into whites. You hit on five of six, and then what? Five, yeah, five of six again, right? The BXs yeah, the, throw the six. BXs, yeah, the BXs were throwing yeah. lots of pain. So you were hitting all of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had two bad defensive rolls. They really didn't impact the game. Grievous at the end there, and then a B2 roll earlier, which we kind of expected Ahsoka to kill the B2, so that's yeah. terrible for you. Other than that, your Impervious held up on a couple of sniper shots. Your armor saved you from a couple of sniper shots. Yep. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, like, nothing, yeah. nothing went my way there. I couldn't get suppression off of Sabine. I couldn't roll any deflect damage except for one. I did get one. Did one deflect damage. Um, out true. of two tries. Um, and I even had, like, multiple dodges each attack. So, yeah, I don't know. It was bad. That was uh, sort of those was, games. So. It was a very dicey game. Tale of two dice. That's going to be the keyword of the day. Tale of two dice. It gets you some bonus entries in this extra short video. Yeah. Hope, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> Sorry, Patreons, that this is a short video for you guys with uh, your uh, list. Unless but... it was the Separatist list. I'm sure he's fine with that. I'm, I'm fine with it. Um, I've never... Played vets naked. That was the first time for that. They didn't do anything. They seem like very expensive thumbs in this list. I guess for you. you brought up because you were thinking thirty eight points gets you the mark two, but then you're still negative six over just taking two rebel troopers. Yeah, I think I would have preferred for this kind of setup. Yeah, I think so. Um, just personal opinion there. I think you built Sabine out fine. I would have probably switched prepared supplies onto her instead of Clan Ren personally, but that's just a preference. Yeah, Ahsoka is my old favorite build. My new favorite build. You drop. Defense and reflex, and you add burst of speed and um, into the fray. Into the fray. Not that I was rolling any paint to survive, anyways. In this That's one. true. Yeah, she still would have been dead had you surged. So, um, um, yeah. yeah. On my side, somebody really likes their HQ uplinks. Thirty points of HQ uplinks is a lot for me, um, especially with a T series in the list. Having the B one with the T with the, it was nice because I almost always had complete order control. But that's a lot of points to HQ uplink. So. I would have I would have switched all the HQ uplinks just to make another full unit of BXs instead of a sniper team there. Um, but always fun to play these Patreon lists. It's always fun playing a list that I know that the person that made this list has either played it before or had an idea of what it was supposed to do. This guy has no idea what that intent was. <laughs> So I just have to kind of wing it, and I'm a terrible if winger. If, you're, if your intent was to roll really hot dice, you, you got it. You know, I wish that I'm, I'm going to make that my intent for all games from now on. I think I'll just quit strategy and just go hot dice as the way to play. The craziest thing about this is if you ca if you add in, I'm going to make it nice. If you add in Clan Ran, Ahsoka, and Sabine's defensive dice rolls, Han did better in the in the other game. We don't need to talk about that. That's insane to me, though. It's a rude game to talk about. It shouldn't even be that way, though. It shouldn't Han be. should have died like two turns ago, and these guys should still be alive. I remember. I was there. Um, I, I was very embarrassed re-watching that, so I do apologize. I apologize in our Discord, but if you're don't, if you <laughs> not in our Discord, I apologize for that two, two weeks ago, that Han Solo game. I was getting real, real disrespectful to the game, disrespectful to Joe, disrespectful to our viewers, so I apologize. I know we did have a couple comments that, that I, was, I was a poor sportsman, and I sure was, so I apologize for that. I will try to maintain... More candor when I'm losing to terrible, terrible things like that. Like Joe did. with He he was just taking these hits with a smile on his bearded face. You can't do anything but laugh at a certain point. At a yep. certain point, you're like, well, there's nothing I could have done differently. I could have yeah. hit some... No, I, would, my, I guess my biggest issue, we'll talk for a second about the team-up card, is I love Sabine in the Rebel Army, and I love Ahsoka. She's actually my favorite person in the Rebel Army right now. I play her in my, my list that I'm taking to Depcon in the list that I've won a few things at Gen Con and Store Championship with. So I love Ahsoka. But I don't like them together. And I will explain why. It's so many points for the two of them. And at that point, you're taking so much more away from your army. And Sabine is not the best damage dealer. She's a great objective grabber. Mm -hmm. But when I have two units that are meant to get into the fray, at least Sabine mostly into the fray for her bombs or her Darksaber. But she doesn't have that like Luke, Ahsoka, Anakin kind of hit to her. Yeah, she, lacking charge hurts. It's hard to use her with things i would have rather had a couple more beefy range units to complement ahsoka mm -hmm. it's unfortunate but it's just it's just true if she had charge yeah i would think she should be a relentless or the dark saber gave her charge that'd be better she still her dark saber dice still i, I rolled them really well today i'm not gonna complain about her you did you had four out of five each time yeah so. that, that's usually usually i get like two or three yeah I'm lucky to get that yeah so. but i just i just don't like the two of them together because of the points that's unfortunate. I feel like there's a few characters like that in this game where they 
give you good team of cards, but if you bring them both, it's just they don't. Yeah, you, always... you you sacrifice the rest of your army yeah, to play a fun team of best. cards. It's kind of like um, Asajj and Dooku. I know people love that build up. That's a lot of points. That's a lot of points. You, melee only. It's like Asajj and Dooku, and then just a bunch of B ones. Yeah. That's about it. So it, not that they're bad, and not that this is bad either. I'm sure some people play this great. It just doesn't fit what I like to do with the mm -hmm. list. And then it turns into this weird situation. Like Don was so sure I was throwing bombs with Ahsoka, or with that my one pip that I played with Ahsoka, but. I had to get Ahsoka first because I was afraid that he would withdraw all the B2s or charge in with Grievous or do something. There was a hole there. So I couldn't play the bombs because the bombs would also have hit Ahsoka. So yep. then you're, in the, you're in this weird struggle where you don't know which character's cards to play when they both need to charge in. It's true. It's kind of like it's the same kind of philosophy a little bit why I don't like Anakin and Obi super much together either. Because Anakin's so card hungry in the beginning, you can't really use Obi's cards when you want to have your army be defensive. Yeah. Not that it's bad, it's good, and there's still some good tactics there. It just doesn't fit my type of play style. Right. Um, but yeah, I, I think I just it's hard for me to talk about Mandos because they're my favorite unit, or used to be, without talking about the Shadow Collective Mandos, which... But the Superior Mando. The Rebel ones have Nimble, and it they doesn't make Surge that for in it. Range 2. The, 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 the Shadow Collective ones have Defend 1, so if you give them an order, they get a dodge, and then Independent Aim... Then they can shoot at range three. They can shoot at range two. They can shoot at range four. They can shoot their rockets at all oh, of those also, let's ranges. Also, the rocket. The rocket wasn't supposed to be like that, right? The rocket was just supposed to be that one range. But since they changed the rule, if there's no number printed, it's all. It's, it's all of them. All of it. So they got a huge boost there. I wish yeah. the rebel one would have got the same treatment there. Yeah. Because um, you can't. And then and then they have three heavy options. Yeah, we have we have a duelist or name people, and the duelist is really not great. The duelist is not great. No, it's the same kind of concept as Sabine. Don't have charge or relentless, so it's really hard to yeah. get them in there to do that effectively without getting killed. And Mandos in general, just like anything that you pay a lot of points for, if they're red surging dice blank on you, it hurts more than anything because you paid for those red surging dice, yep. so it hurts extra bad. Yep. Um, but yeah, um, just some thoughts from, from my end. Who play the, I play the Rebels a lot, and I just... I would like to see... The Rebel Mandos themselves. Clan Ren, you can make an argument doesn't need his help as much, which I agree. Probably they don't need help as long as you bring Sabine. As long as you bring Sabine, because they get the retinue at least. I don't know if you get the rockets on them, because the rockets don't complement them the best. Yeah, I'm not a big fan people, of the rockets with three. Unless they change the rocket to same as the Shadow. But I do think um, I do think the regular na unnamed Mandos on the Rebel side really... They really need a boost. They have no way to give shields like the the shadow. We even said that shadow collective can have shields too. They can, yep. They have no way to get the shields. They have no way to shoot at range three unless you bring Tristan or you have the rockets which you paid for. Mm -hmm. They have they're just really squishy. They don't have any. They have nimble, but it's just so expensive. I don't know. It's sad to me that they're not great. They're they're, yeah. they're probably the main unit in the Rebel Army that I would like to see a little bit of a buff to. Still, is the Rebel Mandos. Yep. Um, I don't because I don't. I already have enough try, trouble killing your your rebel mandos without a buff. So, yeah. Well, anyways, um, I don't think I have anything else to say on this list. I was just trying to talk a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we were just you fluffing it up so that the video isn't a twenty eight minute video. When you look at it on your YouTube yeah, front page, that, guys. I apologize, guys. Usually I don't cut them this short, but I just it's not even assault. I just don't feel like it would have been a game when the three my three only threats in the army were already killed. So it's kind of like yep. Uh, but anyways, hope you guys had a good time still watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like Separatists, I'm sure you enjoyed it. If you're a Soka Sabine fan, I apologize for my dice. Till next time, have a good night. Bye.